Hi guys, so I'm here today with a tag video for you and it is called the perfect subscriber tag um, and I found it on Amanda Alexander's channel um, who is fashion footing so I've got the questions here on my phone um, this tag was originally created by Katie Marie and she's actually got a playlist on her channel of everybody who's done this and um, which is quite good so I'll link all of those videos down below so you can check those out as well Okay, so the questions. Um, this is actually quite a good tag for me because a lot of the questions are things I've wondered about as well. So I was quite excited to do this one. Uh, so question number one. Do you subscribe right away when you find a new channel or do you try a few videos first? So um, generally I do try a few videos first. What I tend to do is if, if I see a video, it's mainly off like the suggestions that YouTube give me. If I find somebody and I enjoy one of their videos, I will go in and have a look at what other videos they put out. Um, I do mainly watch nail polish videos, so if it's somebody with a lot of makeup on their content on their channel, they tend not to subscribe. Um, just because I yeah I just wouldn't watch all of the makeup videos I don't, I'm not a huge makeup wearer so it's just not the content for me um, but if it's all nail polish then I generally subscribe um, or sometimes I subscribe straight away if it's people I'm doing a collaboration with because obviously that's mainly nail polish content anyway so uh, those are my subscription preferences so, number two, does the make sure you subscribe mantra ever sway you to subscribe? Uh, I'll be honest, not really. I've stopped saying it now so much on my channel. Um, it Basically, I think if it's something that you like, you'll subscribe, and if not, you won't. I also think that a lot of people may not have the, um, like ability so to speak to subscribe like my husband watches a lot of YouTube channels and videos but he's not actually got an account so he can't thumbs up or subscribe to any of those so I do wonder a lot of the time if maybe some of the views are coming from those sorts of, of viewers um, but no generally I am I subscribe if it's something I enjoy not just because people are telling me to subscribe um, number three how many channels do you have the notification bell turned on for? So I have a handful of channels with this. Um, I basically did it when it first came out because I was like, oh, I don't want to miss anything. But I generally don't have that trouble. Um, I can just go onto my subscription feed and I seem to have everything on there. So although I've got it turned on, I don't actually need to click on the notification bell. So yeah, I haven't put any on that for a while. I could probably take it off the ones that I've got it on because like I say, it's always on my feed so I don't have the problem of missing videos. Uh, number four, do you watch every video from your subscription feed or only your favourites? I don't always get a great deal of time to watch videos so I generally watch shorter videos um, that are maybe 10 minutes long at the most because I can generally fit a few of those in. Um, if, it, if there's a longer video that I really want to watch, I will come back to it later. Um, but I sort of I sort of flip up and down on mine. Like, if I see a video that I want to watch and haven't got the time, then sometimes it can be a couple of weeks and I'll still come back to it. So I will go back through my subscription feed to quite, so quite far back. Um, so if you put a video out and I comment like a couple of weeks later, that is why. <laughs> but I do try and watch all the videos that I want to watch. Um, number five. How many channels do you never miss an upload for, no matter how busy you are? So I think definitely Nail Polish Hound. So Amanda, I really love her channel. Um, she's really sweet. Um, we've sent a few nail mails back and forth and um, she's got some really great ideas of series on there and I also find her quite relaxing to listen to um, she's got a very relaxing voice so I do always make sure I watch her videos um, Claire Gray, I tend to not miss any of hers and Nail Polish Baby 90 um, so those three probably are the main ones that I don't miss any videos for um, I always see the videos for everybody coming up so um, but those are the ones that I probably watch every single video um, and all <laughs> actually they're all UK YouTubers as well so um, but I do I enjoy everybody's channel that I'm subscribed to so but those are just the the three that sprung to mind um, 
Number six, what kind of commenter are you? So I do like to leave a comment on most videos if I can. Um, I just like to let people know if I, you know, like if it was a good video or sometimes I've got a bit more to say. Um, generally my comments are either great video or if it's a bit longer it's because um, maybe I've got one of the nail polishes or I like to ask a question. There's quite a lot of stuff I comment about actually, um, but I usually tend to make sure that I leave at least one comment, um, unless I forget. <laughs> but you know it's like time wise, but yeah, so I do I do try to comment on all videos. Um, number seven, do you skip ads or watch? Um, I do generally skip ads until I watch the man, um, Amanda Alexander's video of this and I didn't realise that the ads are what give the people the the commission or whatever it is so I from now on I will try to watch a few more ads but yeah when I've not got a lot of time it's I do tend to skip through them I'm not gonna lie um they're not always things that I want to watch either so uh maybe YouTube should sort out that and put a few you know if you're watching nail polish videos and it's an advert about football or something. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> um, number eight. Do you speed up videos? I have no idea how to do that. Apparently that's a new thing. But I quite like watching them normally. Um, do you click... Number nine, sorry. Do you click affiliate links or use affiliate codes? Um, sometimes. Not all the time. I'm guessing those are the codes that people have for money off. I think I've used a couple and I do click on links that uh, people put in their description so um, so yes yeah, so sometimes. Number 10, what's your preference when it comes to video length, your sweet spot? Okay so <laughs> random, maybe like seven minutes. <laughs> I don't think any of my videos are extremely long but I do like quick videos which have got a lot of information in um, with the kids being about like I literally I get time to watch a seven minute video <laughs> or I say no longer than ten minutes um, but if it's like thirty minutes long I think oh gosh especially I like I really want to watch them but I just get the, don't get the time and then I end up pausing them and having to keep coming back <laughs> so a shorter video is better for me at the moment to watch uh, number 11, do you thumbs up most videos? Yes, I always click on thumbs up when I start to watch a video. Um, I just think, I know as a YouTuber myself, I love to get thumbs up, so I like to, to give them out as well. Number 12, do you ever thumbs down a video? No. If there's something you don't like, then you can always comment and say, you know, and give like a critical comment. Not, not a nasty one, I have to say, but just like... You know, or maybe you could have done this like this. Sometimes people appreciate the feedback, but if you're just watching a video to put a thumbs down, what what is the point? It's a waste of your time, you know. But there you go. Uh, number thirteen. Do you do you share other YouTubers' videos on your show, social media? Um, I do not so much recently, but um, but I have done in the past. I maybe should do that a bit more. Yeah. I could probably do that actually. Um, there's not, a, there's not always a great deal of people um, on my like on my Facebook say that are actually that interested in it. So, um, but yeah, I could I could share videos I suppose. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. That's a, that's a difficult one because like to, 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 for it to be a video to share, it would have like be probably be something really like really really interesting or maybe if it's if I did a collaboration I could share mine and then it would um lead on to people seeing the the others I don't know that in fact that's that is one thing um like as a question or as something I wonder is how often do people read the tab underneath and click on um the other videos that are linked that is a question that I wonder also so anyway, so that was the 13 questions. Like I say, there will be links down below, so check those out. Hope you enjoyed this one. Um, so I'm actually going to tag uh, Nail Polish Baby 90, so Amy, um, 
nail polish hound Amanda um, Claire if you've got the time you know you've got a lot going on right now but if you'd like to do this one then um, yeah please do and I'm also going to tag Louise Loopy Frog so um, obviously if you want to do this tag then feel free to do it but I thought I would just name same some people on this one so thanks for watching that guys don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time bye